Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about airdrops. We're gonna talk about brands entering the space and we're gonna talk about Web3 games. If you like this kind of content, would you kindly hit that thumbs up button? Consider hitting the subscribe button. And as usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is just my opinion and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. You're gonna get absolutely wrecked. Now, I really feel like the market is coming full circle. I'm getting similar vibes to roughly one year ago when we had all these token airdrops like SOS. We had looks and it helped spark a bull run. I'm not saying we're going to have a crazy bull run and ETH or Bitcoin is going to go to all time highs. However, it's very normal to have these bear market rallies. And if you play it right, you have potential to make a ton of money if you take profits. So I'm going to show you a few tokens that I'm looking at. Please keep in mind that I am not an expert in these tokens. I'm not an expert in token airdrops. These are just the things that I'm looking at. So definitely do your own research. However, for a lot of these, if it does end up doing an airdrop, because nothing is guaranteed except for one of these, they could potentially pay off very big. So the first one, this one unfortunately only happened. I'm just using it as an example. This is going to be Aptos. I claimed it or I did the steps roughly one month ago and I was able to claim it a couple of days ago and I essentially received $1,000 for free because they sent me 150 tokens and they were trading roughly between seven or eight dollars. Now had I done this on 50 100 wallets, I would have had $50,000. I would have had $100,000 for absolutely free. Now a very similar one or one that people are comparing to Aptos is going to be Sui. So this is one that I'm going to do all the steps for as well as ZK Sync. As you can see here, my boy Captain Y made this beautiful tutorial on these steps on how to claim it. I'm going to put that in the description down below. I believe he's also making one for the other coin Sui that I just told you about. However, the only one on this list that is absolutely guaranteed to have an airdrop is going to be the Blur token. Now, Blur is a free tool that anybody can use to buy, sell, sweep NFTs. It's actually an amazing tool. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. It's really going to crush its competition because it's free and all the other ones are paid. A lot of them charge pretty expensive monthly fees. So if they just keep adding features, they're just going to crush all their competition. Now, if you look on top here, you can click airdrop and for you, you're not going to see this page yet. You're going to see connect your wallet. You're going to have to list at least one NFT. And then by doing that, based on your MetaMask activity, you are going to receive these boxes, which you can reveal, but you cannot yet open. It's going to contain tokens, which is going to happen sometime in January. However, you can get the airdrops right now until sometime in mid November. Now, like I said, this is based on your trading activity here. I didn't get lucky. I got zero legendaries. However, I did this on like four or five wallets and I did get lucky on one of them. I hit a legendary. So this is the first drop. The second airdrop is coming in the future and that's just going to be straight up their token. As you can see here coming in November, the more you list, the more you earn. So they're trying to encourage people to use their platform and in exchange, they're going to give you free money. So just some tips. If you go to this article that they did post, they do tell you how it works, how you could increase your chances, how you should be listing to not play the system and list properly. And you don't have to list just on blur. They allow you to list on all the marketplaces. X2 looks rare, open C. And they also say here, PS try placing at least three sweeps on blur before the second airdrop. Like I said, sometime in November. So these are all the things you can do to increase your odds. And I'm definitely going to use this tool. I'm definitely going to be doing this. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not getting any extra money from them other than the airdrop that I'm hoping to receive. I just really like this tool and I think it's a great opportunity. Next, let's talk about brands entering the space. So the first one is going to be Toys R Us. Now, whenever it comes to any brand or any Twitter page claiming to have association with a brand, you're always going to want to go check who follows them that you know, because you're going to want to see is the main brand page following this project or have they retweeted it? In this case, Toys R Us follows it. So that checks out. But other than that, we have no information on this project. All we know is that it's going to be on Solana. Now it's also going to be powered by anybody's. I had never heard of this before. It seems to be a metaverse fashion brand. If we scroll down, you can see here they did a collaboration with D Gods, which is a project on Solana. And this hoodie reminds me a lot of the artifact hoodie with the wings. So seeing this, I assume Toys R Us is going to be going for either a merch play or maybe they're going to have toys in the metaverse, but definitely cool to see brands entering the space. The next brand that recently created their Twitter, they did this on the 19th, is going to be Warner Brothers. 
colors. And the first drop, because it does seem like they're gonna have three, is going to be Lord of the Rings. Now, I'm not sure if these other two drops are gonna be Lord of the Rings. Maybe it's gonna be all three movies. Maybe it's gonna be something with The Hobbit. Or it might be a different brand altogether because it is called Movieverse and not Lord of the Rings World or something like that. So if we go check the NFTs themselves, there are gonna be two different editions. You have the 10K drop that is going to be a randomized rarity. And you also have the Epic Edition, which is going to be all three of these rarities put into one collection. So what you're gonna get with this, it's gonna be an interactive navigation menu where you can click on different areas based on the location or based on the rarity of the NFT that you get. You're also gonna get the full feature filmed in 4K. You're gonna get over eight hours of special feature plus commentary. You're gonna get location specific image galleries and you're gonna get AR collectibles. Now the prices for this, it's gonna be $30 USD as well as $100 for the Epic Edition, which in my opinion is priced very fairly. I remember back in the day, people would buy like box sets or special edition DVDs with like a book and stuff. And people pay a lot of money because these are collector's items. There's also a ton of fans of Lord of the Rings. So I don't doubt the demand for this NFT. What I don't like is a few things. One, whenever brands come in, a lot of the times they try to control everything and close things off. And it does seem like they're trying to have their own marketplace. And as you can see, as I'm switching between them, it does take some time to load. So I'm worried that as you know, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people are rushing to buy these NFTs since you have to do it on their platform. I really hope the website doesn't crash similar to the big time land sale where nobody was able to use the platform. The other thing is they're using the Illuv.io or Illuvio, I'm just gonna call it that, blockchain. I've never heard of this. They're using their own blockchain. So that's a little bit weird. I'm not sure why they didn't just go with Solana or Ethereum or something. However, if you go to the FAQ, it does seem like they're supporting a ton of different methods of payment. You could pay through Apple Pay, Visa, MasterCard, Amex, any card you want. You could also pay with USDC on Solana as well as USDC on Ethereum. These are two different things. So don't send USDC from your ETH mainnet to Solana. So like I said, I don't doubt the demand for Lord of the Rings NFTs. I just questioned the decision that they made to go with their own platform and this blockchain and everything. The other thing that really worries me is that this is minting today, October 21st at 12 p.m. Eastern. Most people only discovered this project yesterday on the 20th. A lot of them, I assume, have not even created an account on this platform. So I feel like they're rushing it and I really hope that doesn't come back to bite them because it would suck for this NFT project to fail and for a big brand like this to enter the space and then just get wrecked. Everybody clowns on them. And then other brands decide not to launch because they don't want the same thing to happen to them. I wish brands would take more time with their marketing and make sure everything is up to par. So if you're a brand watching this and you want to enter the space and you need help, little plug here. This is my advisory firm, Web3 Wizards. Give us a call, fill out our contact form, and we can help you make the right decisions. The next brand entering the space is going to be Rolling Loud with their Loud Punks project. If you don't know Rolling Loud, it is a worldwide music festival. You can see here some of their locations, New York, Miami, Portugal, Toronto, Thailand, and they are continuously expanding. They also have a ton of different artists that have committed to different dates. Here you can see Lil Uzi Vert, there's Future, there's The Baby. I've personally never been to really any festival, but I've never been to the Rolling Loud Festival. However, I do know a lot of people who love these shows. And the cool thing about this is that it's lifetime access to all of their shows worldwide. And their tickets are actually pretty expensive. I think it's $500 per ticket. So while I do assume the NFT is gonna have to be expensive just to make up for the long-term money that they're gonna be losing. If you plan on going to one of these shows once a year, once every two years, this can be a great investment. Now, the other thing that they're doing is this basically acts like a VIP pass. You're gonna get your own exclusive section and it's cool because it's gonna be all Web3 people and you also get a special entrance so you get to skip the line and all that. This reminds me a lot of the Tomorrowland NFT. There's some slight differences. Of course, Tomorrowland is gonna be three different NFTs. They've dropped two of three already and you are gonna have to fuse these together in order to get all of the benefits. However, I've personally been collecting some of these because I believe the long-term value is going to outweigh the current cost because Tomorrowland tickets sell out in seconds. And although this doesn't give you a lifetime pass, just like the Loud Punks one does, this does give me essentially whitelist to purchase tickets. However, with those tickets, I can go ahead and resell them. And Tomorrowland tickets sell for what, 2X, 3X, depending on when you sell them. Now, again, like I said, the difference here, this is a lifetime pass. You only have to pay once and you never have to buy a ticket again. Next, 
Next, let's move on to some games because games have been performing very well. The first one that we saw was Tribo Games. Now this was a free mint. I unfortunately missed it, but it did go all the way up to, I believe 0.4 before reveal. We of course yesterday had the Degenheim. It was a long awaited mint. If you were lucky enough to mint this and you decided to flip, you have a beautiful 2X. I'm currently holding four of these. I have not sold any of them yet. However, the leader of the pack is going to be Digidaigaku with their whole ecosystem. All their NFTs are worth a crazy amount of money. And if you had the first one, which was free, you are just essentially printing money because everything they airdrop to you is worth a ton. And Gabriel is doing an amazing job with this collection. So I'm constantly looking for games because I believe there's a ton of money to be made with these games, especially if they announce funding, the price just goes bananas. However, you have to remember, especially with games, a lot of it could just be smoke and mirrors because most of these games are not going to be releasing for years down the line. So keep that in mind if you're considering either just flipping it or if you want to hold it long term. So the first game that I'm looking at, which actually looks like the funnest on this entire list is going to be by Oh Baby Games. Now here they say stealth mode. We have no information. However, it seems to be a studio by this guy pass. As you can see, there's a few different games. This one reminds me a lot of Super Smash Brothers, especially with the hands. However, the game that looks the funnest is going to be essentially their iteration of Mario Kart. This game actually looks awesome. The gameplay looks dope. And it's something I believe a lot of people would play not only once because most of these games, people just play once, but this game looks like something people are going to play over and over again, because like I said, it's essentially Mario Kart and how many Mario Karts are there and people just keep playing it because the games are really fun. Now, I don't know what the deal is going to be with this game for play to earn. I don't know if you're going to have NFTs in it. However, somebody did ask, I hope this game is free to play. And somebody did say, yes, sir, no gating. Let's build something right. The next game we're going to talk about is called Voiders. Now, Voiders has some pretty cool trailers. This one reminds me a lot of of Overwatch. Now I have spoken with the team. They told me that the game has been in development for three years and they have a team of over 45 people. It does seem like it's going to be a mobile game. If you look here, iOS and Android, it's going to be free to play. If we scroll through the white paper, you can see here there's a screenshot of what it's going to be. So it seems like it's going to be a shooter. They did say it's going to have PVP and PVE. However, what I really want to see, especially if this game has been in development for three years, I want to see some gameplay footage. I want to see a demo, a long demo, not just like a 10 second or 30 second demo. I want to see a long demo, a full round of the game being played. So they did say that they're going to have a PVP demo before the Genesis Mint happens and that later in December, they're going to be doing a closed alpha round. So this is definitely a project I'm keeping my eye on, especially because the Genesis drop is a very low supply of 888 NFTs. And if everything checks out, if the demo is cool, if they drop, I want to see a web. So I want three things. I want to see a demo. I want to see a website and I want to see the team docs, especially since, you know, they're saying that they have all these developers, they have all these experienced developers. So I want to see all that. And if everything checks out, these can definitely fly. The next project that I want to talk about is called Homa Games. Now, Homa Games is an actual development studio. They've made over 80 mobile games. They have over 1 billion downloads of all their games combined. And they also seem to have raised $100 million in a series B round. The entire team is docs. You could check them out on LinkedIn. So what they're doing is they're launching an NFT collection where these NFTs are assets in their existing web two games. And they're also going to be assets in their up and coming web three games. So that's all the info I have for now, but this is definitely another project that I'm keeping an eye on. Next, we have Sanctum. Their website is pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of Clementine's Nightmare. They're trying to do two things. They want to build a game and they also want to do a movie based on their world and their characters. Now they told me the game is going to be a card game. The downside here is the game or the movie neither have started development or maybe the movie has, but the game has not started development. They haven't locked down a studio yet. So if you're going to invest in this one long term, you have to consider that the game is not coming out for a while. But I am hearing a lot of people talk about this project, so it could be a potential play. Now, if we look at their roadmap, it does seem like they have a ton planned. First, they're going to have their initial mint. They're going to do a Tiffany and Co reward. And there is some information on that. They're going to do 750 rose gold keys in partnership with Tiffany. So they clearly have good connections. Then they're going to have an airdrop of the dorm room. They're going to do a crypto launch. So I wonder if you're going to get tokens for holding their NFT or if they're going to allow you to invest in their ICO. Next down here, you can see they're going to have a merch drop in collaboration with it seems like this is the Yves Saint Laurent logo. Then they're going to have another Tiffany reward. They're going to be doing more mints. This mint is going to be with their ruin token. The magic wand mint is going to be with ETH. So it does seem like they're going to be doing a second paid mint. And then they want to do figurine drop. They want to do a game. They want to do a movie. So they're trying to 
build an entire brand. If you look at the about page, most of the team members are doxxed or at least they link to their social media. But like I said, a lot of people are talking about this project. It's going to be minting sometime around Halloween. So if you want to check it out, I would do it sooner than later. The next project that I want to touch on real quick is going to be the My Pet Hooligan Zuckbot drop. Now there's some upside and downside for this drop. The cool thing is that it gives you access to their game, which currently it is expensive to get into because the My Pet Hooligan original NFTs, the Hoolies, those are roughly around one Ethereum. We recently saw like a 78 ETH sweep on them. That was insane. However, it is very expensive to get in. So by dropping this new drop, they're allowing more people to get in at a much cheaper price. The thing that scares me is that here you can see it's a 13,888 drop and 8,888 of them are being claimed by holders for absolutely free. So hopefully the people claiming don't completely crush the floor price of this collection because they're still trying to sell 5,000 NFTs for between 0.08 and 0.1 Ethereum, which for a companion drop, in my opinion, is a bit expensive, but at least they're rewarding their existing holders with a free NFT. And I love this game. The game is actually really fun to play. I love the world and the characters that they're building, but most of all, I love the team. I was lucky enough to meet them in New York. They're great guys. They really care about what they're building. They care about their community. So no matter what, I want this project to succeed. Next, I got two more for you. There's no information on these last two. So the first one is going to be Star Symphony. As you can see, the Twitter is blank. If you go to the website, it just says coming soon, but I really like the art. So this is definitely one I'm going to be watching for when they finally drop a website. And last but not least, same thing, nothing on their Twitter. You have Lunchbox Games, but it does say here, we are an indie studio working on a cool new MOBA. And if you look at their website, I really like the aesthetic of their website. It looks cool. The team is, I guess you can call this docs. I assume this is what they look like. They give their full names. And if you scroll down here, you could see one of their partners is indeed Solana. So this is definitely going to be a crypto slash web three game. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.